My name is Malcolm Shuttleworth. I'm a wilderness explorer, adventurer, and filmmaker on a lifelong journey to explore some of the wildest and most spectacular places in the world. All with the ultimate goal to uncover some of the many mysteries that still remain in the vast forests, mountains, and oceans of our planet. This time, I'm heading to the very unique Tadoussac and Charlevoix region of Quebec for a week-long hiking and kayaking trip. In particular, I'll be on the lookout for some of the many whale species that frequent the area, including belugas, mink whales, and humpbacks. Ideally, I'm hoping I'll actually be able to kayak alongside some of these majestic animals for the first time in my life. So prepare yourself for the adventure ahead and let's go. On this morning, my plan is to kayak on the St. Lawrence River for the first time on this trip. The difference this much larger river makes is actually quite huge when it comes to whale watching. Many more species of whales can be spotted in the St. Lawrence, including finback whales, humpback whales, and the elusive and endangered blue whale, to name a few. Additionally, mink whales and belugas are much more common in the St. Lawrence. All right, well, it's a beautiful, calm day here. I'm all geared up and uh, it's looking like it's gonna be a good day. Spotted a mink whale just offshore right here. So definitely looks like I will likely see some action today. So I'm gonna go up north and just kind of explore around and see what I find. Let the adventure begin. I'm stoked. All right, let's just go straight out. See what we find. It looks like there's gonna be a lot of action today. <laughs> Oh yeah, a pot of, pot of belugas right here, coming this way. Wow. Oh, there he is. Oh, wow. Okay. I got to move away. He's, he's right in front of me. Oh, good Lord. There's a lot of belugas out today. Oh, he's right underneath me. I swear, I'm trying to move away from him. He keeps following me. Oh my gosh. I'm literally trying to move away from him. I can see him under, he's coming underneath me here. Well, success already. Now I can say I've kayaked with uh, beluga whales as well. So, success. 
Not sure how far offshore I'm gonna go, but it's so calm today, I could probably go a little bit further than I normally would. Well, that was quite a bit of excitement there. The, the pod of beluga just kind of popped up right beside me and uh, yeah, I just had to paddle away from them. But it's calm now, so I'm in a bit of an open area. I could pop by any second, but I think the pod is going elsewhere now. But uh, yeah, that was pretty crazy. Oh, look at that, right there. Oh my gosh, that one snuck up on me. I could just see him in the water there as he was surfacing. Wow. So you guys might think I'm pretty crazy coming out here by myself to kayak with whales and I would kind of agree with you but uh, I'm not a total idiot I do have some uh, you know things that I have to keep me safe so obviously I'm wearing a life jacket that's a given oh there's the mink whale again I think might be a porpoise actually I don't know oh yeah it's something else I don't know what that is so I'm gonna take a quick little break here eat some food I go to the bathroom and and we'll get right back out. I think this is as far north as I want to go, but um, still I'd like to go a little bit further offshore and look for the big whales. All right, we'll just had a nice little break there. And wow, the abundance of life here is pretty crazy. Be able to just watch seals go by right here in this little channel. And obviously whales further out, little mink whales, belugas. It's just quite a special place. All right, back out we go. Like I said, it's getting pretty windy, so I'm going to be working with the current getting back here. It's probably uh, maybe almost 11 a.m., something like that. So it's uh, still early in the day, but I'm mostly just going to be hanging out uh, just across from where I parked my car because that seems to be where most of the, uh, the whale sightings are right now, so it's definitely a hot spot. Like I said, it is getting a little bit windier, but it's not nearly as bad out here. This small little wave, so I'm confident enough to uh, kayak out probably about a kilometer or so, and uh, yeah, just kind of drift my way back. I was thinking about trying to get out to the middle of the, the river, but that's uh, seeming a little bit kind of crazy now at this point. So considering how many whales are right here by shore, I think I'm just gonna hang out closer to the shore. So as you can see, I'm almost in kind of the uh, mean cruising channel for these big boats so <laughs> this is about as far as I'm gonna go and uh, we'll see if I get lucky but I'm just gonna drift back in these deeper waters and see if I can spot any bigger whales. I allow the wind to push me back down river towards where I launch from. After much patience it isn't meant to be so I begin kayaking back towards shore. At one point, I had to kayak right along the shore and close to sharp rocks. As I'm doing this, a mink whale happens to surface right beside me. I try to keep there my distance go. from it, it but is. it's just so close to shore, and all I can do is hug the beach as best I can. On top of that, there's a big campsite right along the edge of the water, and literally dozens of people are watching me as I perform this precarious maneuver right beside this mink whale. At one point, it literally dives under my kayak, but thankfully, I make it safely past the mink whale and this tricky spot back to where I launched my kayak. It's just too, uh, too nice of a day. Wind's calmed down a little bit. Decided to make this a full day of kayaking, so I'm gonna get back out here for a few hours until when the sun sets, and uh, then I'm gonna head in. So, I've got a couple more hours of kayaking, and that'll be it. At it again, let's see what we can find. Well, I'm already glad I came out because it is just so calm out here now. It's a big difference uh, from earlier. So I am going to kayak out a little bit of a ways here. Since I can check off every other whale, I figure uh, we'll try for a humpback or a fin whale still. I'm going to keep trying and then uh, tomorrow will be a half day of kayaking. So I'm just going to go along the shore, same as I did uh, today. And then, yeah, go out to sea a little bit and uh, that's the plan for the next day. And then I'll probably stay until sunset and then uh, leave Tadosak uh, that evening. So that's kind of the plan. Well, so far I haven't really seen much, but uh, it's so calm. I've gone out uh, almost as far as I went this morning. So that's pretty surprising. But the current will be pushing me on the way back. So I'm not worried about getting back at all, but 
Yeah, it's just so calm out here that uh, if there are any humpbacks or fin whales here, I'm probably going to see them from quite a distance. I've seen some porpoises. They're absolutely surrounded. Big pot of Little harbor porpoises all around me here. They're quite cute. Just hanging out right here. Well, so far all is quiet this evening, but uh, man, I can't believe how calm it is out here. It's just the exact opposite of just a few hours ago, so very glad I came out. Not seeing much of anything other than uh, porpoises, but um, that's okay. It's a beautiful evening, and I'm excited to come out one final time for a kayak tomorrow morning and um, you know, try my luck again. Okay, I'm officially heading back now as the sun's setting here. Still maybe another half hour or so of daylight, but I've given this spot a pretty good chance. Man, these porpoises are getting so close. You guys see that there? Right there. <laughs> Well, I'm definitely done for the day now. Just saw that uh, same mink whale as I was coming in here, so that was kind of cool, but too dark to get any good photos, so time for me to get this kayak on the roof, head out to the next spot for tomorrow.